Hey, good Monday morning, my friends. I'm live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa here. I'm live morning weather update. Not real stormy this week, but lazy, chill to cold air over us, gradually eroding away a little bit. Uh, but as we get into early May, you know, our temperature is supposed to be going up like this. And it's kind of going like this, which means that when we think it should be up here and it's down here by early May, we may be disgruntled weather folks here in Michigan. All right, let's get to your hi to a few first folks first. Bama Lynn Medley. Good morning, Atlanta, Michigan. Mark Archernick from Lansing. Good morning. And Sherry Grimet from Tecumseh. Howdy. <laughs> Good morning, world, says Star Rendon. All right, so a few little spots of uh, a couple of flakes of snow here and there, but nothing really significant. Here's the European model. And let me get it so that it's in a good expanded mode for you here so you can see what's going on. And let me go back to the first frame, which is usually the quietest frame, and you can kind of get a feel for what you're looking at. You're looking at the United States and Southern Canada. And I think uh, I think Lake Michigan and Michigan stick out pretty good there. You're looking at the blue lines are cold upper level temperatures. The red lines are warmer upper level temperatures. And that translates to what we feel here at the ground. Um, and then you got the storm systems and eventually you got the amounts of precipitation on there. So let's go through it. And the first thing you'll note is that the cold air aloft kind of stays in place. So we're at tomorrow. And when you get cold air aloft at this time of the year, you can get a spurt of a rain or snow shower. Or as Janet S., I'm just going to call you, just mentioned hail yesterday. Yeah, you can get small hail or even sleep, uh, you know, it only lasts five minutes or so. Now we're into Wednesday morning. We're still in the chilly air aloft. So we have to rely on the April sunshine to come out to give us some warmth. And in that kind of pattern, the April sunshine is eh, fairly shy. It comes out, but not in a strong uh, manner. But let's call it dry, at least, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Now we're into Thursday morning, and the cold air is trying to erode away. Um, and as we get to Thursday afternoon, it warms up some. So we'll see a jump in temperatures to a very nice spring-like day on Thursday. If you're planning something outside, like a field trip or something with the kids, uh, then... You know, Thursday's a good day. All right, Janet Suradsky. Thank you for the phonetic spelling. I like it. Friday, probably still dry. So we may be dry all the way into the weekend. This is Saturday. Saturday afternoon. And, uh, of course, it's the weekend. So we got to get a cold front and some sort of rain by Sunday. This is next Sunday. And notice... The cold air comes back in, not as cold as before, but cold, you know, for this time of the year. Now we go out 10 days. This is May 3rd, Thursday, May 3rd. And look at where the blue lines are over lower Michigan, of course. <laughs> uh, hey, thank you, Connie Ray Castle. So in other words, it's a slow. It's a slow, painfully slow warm up into a point now where we can say, let's ditch winter and let's get on with it. And Mother Nature's saying, mm, no, we're probably not going to just get on with it. So today we're upper 40s, 50-ish uh, tomorrow. Wednesday, same deal, upper 40s, low 50s. Thursday, jumping to... Near 60 in a lot of places. Maybe uh, 53 in Traverse City still. Friday in the 60s. So that looks good. And then remember I showed you the cold air wrapping back around? 
and Saturday in the 50s to low 60s. And then Sunday, you know, starting to feel the effects of a little bit of cool down. And then next Monday, May 1st, cooler. And uh, Tuesday, May 2nd, cooler. And Wednesday, May 3rd, cooler. Because remember, our average high temperature, the long-term average, you know, 30 years of a high temperature on a certain date, that is going up a degree every few days. So look at what we're supposed to be by the time we get to early May. And let me grab May for you. Uh, May 1st, we're supposed to be between about 62 and 64 in the southern half of lower Michigan. And you get to May 3rd, 64 in Saginaw, 63 in Grand Rapids, 64 in um, Jackson, 65 in Ann Arbor. So when we're talking a high temperature of 50-ish on May 1st, you're 15 degrees colder than normal, which is significantly colder than normal. Six to 10 day temperature forecast. And precipitation. Six to 10 day temperature forecast, colder than normal. Uh, precipitation leaning to slightly wetter than normal. 8 to 14 day into May 7th. Colder than normal. And the 3 to 4 week forecast into April or May 19th. Leaning toward colder than normal. So I've warned you all along that what appears to be uh, the slow march into spring is going to be very slow. It's indeed actually going to, we're going to start to go from being, you know, not so abnormally cold to as the temperature is supposed to go up, we level off here the next week. Then it's going to start to feel a little bit chilly for this time of the year. I'll be honest with you. Doesn't look real stormy just yet, so that's some good news. Maybe we'll get some yard work done, uh, but you probably have a jacket on and pants on and not shorts like you did about a week or so ago. Um, and what happens? This last stubborn cold, I usually find that it melts away and then we jump up. Uh, the atmosphere wants to be warm. The globe is warming. Uh, we've seen that when the above normal temperatures take over, we can get fairly above normal. So is this the last cold blob that we tend to deal with sometimes around Labor or Memorial Day? You know, so maybe this fades away in early May and then we take off. Uh, regardless, it looks pretty good. It just does look fairly cold uh, compared to normal over the next couple of weeks, not all days, but some of the days. So there you have it. Uh, I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update. Uh, Paula Eckert, so can I plant grass seed? Yes, you can. Grass seed will usually germinate, I think at a 42 degree soil temperature, certainly at a 50 degree soil temperature. And you know, when we're talking highs in the 50s, that means much of the day the soil gets to about 50 degrees. So yes, it actually probably is a pretty good pattern for grass seed because you'll be able to water it and keep it moist as opposed to if it was 75 or 80 degrees windy and sunny, you just you can't water it enough to get it to germinate in the spring. So I would say yes. In fact, I'm going to do that same thing this week in some bare spots in my lawn. Uh, that looks like... Uh, that looks like all the questions uh, probably go from 50s to 80s later in May, says Craig Thornton. And that's very likely. This is very likely. So thanks for joining me. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Have yourselves a great day and please hit the share button. Thank you.